I'm Christy Bloom and I'm a researcher at the WITS Antiviral Gene Therapy Research Unit. I did my PhD here and I've been a researcher since 2017. With regards to mRNA technologies, I think it's a very interesting field. It's developing very quickly with all the COVID um, mRNA vaccines that are now available. And uh, this has sort of highlighted how useful and how versatile the field actually is. We've been working on therapeutics, mRNA therapeutics, for some time now, but this has really shone a spotlight on how applicable the technology is for vaccines and possibly for therapies as well. I think that will help push it in the direction of being able to generate novel vaccines as you need them. And also maybe try and address some of the infectious diseases that have not been successfully addressed with, with vaccines, conventional vaccines throughout the years. Um, HIV being a very good example of that. My name is Dr. Elise Willenberg. I have been with Afrigen since 2016, which is when Afrigen started. I started as a scientist and through the years we have progressed and I now have the role of laboratories and QA manager at Afrigen. I oversee that all um, good manufacturing practices are adhere to and processes are run and ensure that the final product meets all quality specifications and that we release on those specifications. So on the mRNA work that is to be done, there will be a research component that will undertake to um, get the, the mRNA um, manufactured and made and then formulated into its um, lipid nanoparticle. I will then oversee those processes and include specifications for what needs to be done to ensure that all the critical quality aspects are adhered to and met so that uh, a good product is released at the end. Hi, my name is Sinai Borsov. I studied as a, to be a pharmacist and at the University of Northwest. I've been working at Afrigen for a year and seven months now and I'm currently busy with another master's degree in pharmacy administration and policy regulation. At the moment I'm the responsible pharmacist but for the mRNA hub I will be the production pharmacist. Basically the production pharmacists work with the production team and identify risks and manage risks. So I'm part of the process, I won't be physically doing all the production steps but I'll be there to monitor the process and mitigate any risks that might occur. I think it's a great opportunity for Africa and South Africa and I think that we have a lot of skilled um, scientists and it's a great opportunity to show the world what we can do here. I'm Frances Lees, I am one of the scientists up at Afrigen. I I have an MSc or Master's in um, Molecular and Cell Biology from the University of Cape Town in uh, vaccine development. I started at Afrigen about the beginning of 2020 after my Master's. What I love about the job is that it's so varied and there isn't a sort of, I do X from 9 till 10 and then do this and this and so it's um, a lot of sort of lab work, a lot of reading, lots of um, admin that I never expected. But, it's a, a lot of different things. This would be an amazing path for my, um, my journey as a scientist because mRNA is such a new technology and there's so much space for development and for research. I think we will definitely get it done and we'll definitely, I think, su succeed, especially with the amount of um, support that we've been getting. So it's not that it won't happen. I think it would just be managing that expectation of like, it will definitely happen, we're gonna make this happen. I'm Bianca Ardenser, I'm originally from Athlone in Cape Town. I studied biotechnology at the University of Western Cape, and then I also did my honours in the same field. Uh, when I did my honours, I was in the proteomics department. I'm the only microbiologist right now, I help in all the R&D projects, I'm also in the production lab, so I'm a bit of everywhere. Whoever needs help, I'm there to assist. So during the year, we obviously heard this big news that the mRNA hub is happening. It's a huge project and there's a lot of um, pressure. If the whole world is basically looking at this small Afrigen company that said that they can be the first African company to do this big task. So I think that's the, where the pressure comes for, for me. It's just all the eyes on you. When you become a scientist, 
you want to help people, but you want to be more in the background. You just want to get the job done, but now it's more, I don't know, everyone is <laughs> looking at you. <laughs> I studied biochemistry and micro for my undergrad um, at the University of KwaZulu-Natal, which is on the east coast, opposite to where we are at the moment. Um, and then I went into postgrad studies and um, I went into biochemistry and I specifically focused on um, gene therapy. Within my current team, I work in the analytical method development platform. And so basically, we get to characterize all the amazing products that the process team, the upstream and downstream process teams produce, and we get to um, basically tell them whether they have the product, first of all, that they think they have, how much of it they have, what's the um, purity level, so it's, um, it's an amazing job to have. So I basically analyze products that are made. Success looks like, I guess, first of all, finding the right technology, um, making sure that all the partners, the hub and the spokes are speaking to one another, that we're all working towards a common aim and goals and that each one kind of knows what their role is and they can achieve what their deliverables are. I believe that we can make a difference and that we have to. Africa needs to look after itself now. It needs to be self-sustainable. Um, and if we can support the rest of the world in any way, then that would be great too. I love what I do. I get products to analyze and it's my absolute passion. Hi, my name is Kishani Naidu. I'm the operations manager at Desmond Tutu Health Foundation in Masipamalele site. My job encompasses managing the site on a whole as facilities as well as making sure that the studies are, are done appropriately. The first thing that we have to do whenever we do clinical trials is we have to go out in our community. The eligibility of studies looks at the person that we're looking for that is ideal for the studies that we conduct. And that can range from whether you're an HIV positive person to whether you have a comorbidity, whether you're older and you reach our criteria. Basically what I think about Africa actually having its own hub and making vaccines is it's brilliant for Africa as a whole. The fact that we have brought it to Africa gives accessibility to our countries and the countries in Africa, which is amazing, you know. It gives us an opportunity to actually take care of the people that we have in our vulnerable populations. Every country faces different issues, but the fact that we have something that's right here and is able to provide and distribute within our countries will be amazing.